I think you could tell it was the first game, um, but it was nice to see the fans again, um, for the players to to see you know what a turnout it is. I know it's a local game, but just to understand the the fan base that we we have and minutes in the legs is the most important thing. You know, it looks like we might have picked up a couple of injuries, which is disappointing. Uh, we'll assess them. Maybe not quite as bad as as first looked. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll assess them Monday morning and, and go from there. Who's struggling? Uh, Otis, I think he went down sort of just on half time. Um, just felt something in his calf, but whether it's anything sinister, we'll, we'll see. And Stephen, obviously, who came off to the end, just felt his ankle. Um, and again, he, he's just in there. I think he's a little bit more optimistic than he first was. You know, maybe it just scared him a little bit, I'm not sure, but fingers crossed it can both not be uh, too bad. You feel the different teams in each half? Yeah. How did you think it went then, from that perspective? As I say, it's just about minutes, Mike. It was never going to be sort of fluid, uh, a warm day. You know, the pitch is, is OK, don't get me wrong, but we'll play on better surfaces. Um, so all things considered, it, it, it was all right. You know, obviously loads and loads to work on. We've had... You know, the lads that played in the final have had four days training. Um, you know that's the reality, and that's the other thing. It's been, you know, a relatively tough week. Did, not like the old-fashioned tough week of just running and not seeing a ball, but they've been straight into it. So we haven't really got time to waste. Um, can't let days go by that that on. Um, you know, something to work on, whether that's individually, collectively, and um, you know, it's the first game out of the way. For those not here today, who was missing? Um, I don't know who was missing. Ryan, Ryan Taylor. Taylor. Ryan Taylor. He's injured. Um, he'll be touch and go whether he's right for the start of the season. Um, and after that, I'm not sure. I think that was us, Matt. To okay. be honest. What's the injury? Uh, calf. Okay. So he felt his calf in training the other day. He's had a scan, and like I said, he'll be touch and go for uh, for the start of the season. What's your reaction to that? Obviously, obviously, he'd rather him be fit. Um, he got injured here last year. He got injured prior to here last year. So, um, you know, it's not as bad. Again, that one definitely isn't as bad as we first feared. So, you know, we'll we'll see how we can get Ryan going in in the next week or so, and see if the start of the season is a, a realistic aim for him. Any closer to making any further signings? No. Okay. <laughs> how are you finding it? Uh, it's a, a little frustrating, but at the same time, you know, you have to show an element of patience. There's no point diving in or and, and kind of settling for what you feel perhaps is second best or people that you're not, you know, convinced about. When we sign someone, it's going to be for the minimum six months if it was a loan or the season or, or perhaps longer. So we can't rush that thought because we've got a game, you know, some pre-season games. Um, and that's that's where I'm at. Like I said I think we've been through all of these scenarios enough times, albeit, admittedly, it is a, a shorter period. But um, like I said, the bigger picture is we, we're looking at the season, not just the next week or so. David Longking has moved on. Yep. You look to replace him. Um, we've got three centre backs and we've got Jazz as well, uh, Jamie Bramwell. So you know we've got five lads that can all play there, albeit two of uh, are inexperienced. It's an area that we'll certainly assess as we as we move forward, and you know perhaps that's something that we might do. Can I ask you about one player in particular who the fans have been talking about? Ryan Bennett has moved back to Grimsby. Any chance that he could return? Uh, I don't believe so. Um, you know I'm not going to delve into what Ryan's uh, situation is, but the last I heard, I think uh, that was looking certainly unlikely with interest. You know, certainly higher up the, the pyramid. So you've asked the question. We've look. I think it's an obvious one. He knows people at the football club, um, and if it would have something that would have suited, then we'd have, of course we'd have looked at it. Now, whether again it would have been viable, you know, I, I don't know. Can I also ask you about Alex Hunt? Might he be coming back? Again, I don't think so. He played for Sheffield Wednesday. He's been there. Are you uh, interested? Alex is someone that I thought did well. Um, he's, he's one of many players that are kind of on a, on his list and we look at but I don't see that happening you know he's under contract uh, I think any kind of fee that they want would be out of our range so you know we, we have to move on from that okay